are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, October 25th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. We've got Tropical Depression 28 in the Western Caribbean. It'll be moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to become Tropical Storm Zeta later today and will affect the northern Gulf Coast later this week. we got lots to talk about, so let's get right to it. Here's the upper pattern across North America on this Sunday morning, showing a developing trough over the western United States that has already caused lots of mischief in the winter weather department. The ridge over the eastern United States is beginning to slowly break down, and uh, it will eventually allow some changes. Uh, here's the uh, low pressure system that sort of energized the front that uh, edged into Alabama yesterday, giving uh, most uh, areas of central Alabama fairly generous rain amounts and uh, a cloudy day and a much cooler day than we anticipated. That low is near Anniston this morning. It's being blocked in by uh, high pressure to the northeast that's sort of uh, reinvigorating. This system will move to the northeast into eastern Tennessee today and weaken. Uh, Meanwhile, as that high pressure system gets its act together, it will push uh, this air mass back to the south sort of as a backdoor cold front, as we'll see in just a minute. Now, here is Tropical Depression 28 this morning in the western Caribbean. The official track of the National Hurricane Center carries it near the Yucatan Peninsula, strengthening as it goes into a tropical storm later today, moving it into the southern Gulf of Mexico Monday night, becoming a hurricane as it begins to turn to the north and then the northeast ahead of that important trough that's moving in from the west. Now, it should begin to weaken as uh, water temperatures are colder the further north that the storm goes, and also it will uh, begin to increase, uh, uh, begin to encounter increasing wind shear. Uh, from that trough, and so uh, we'll notice a a weakening trend as it approaches the Gulf Coast, but uh, I would always caution you to watch out for that right turn, as we've seen not just once this year, uh, as it does, storms tend to, you know, get a little bit more intensity, but it should approach the coast uh, of southeastern Louisiana uh, late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, as a strong tropical storm, probably 60, 65 miles an hour. Pass near the mouth of the Mississippi River on the official track. Again, near, make a landfall near the Alabama-Mississippi border and push up into central Alabama Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Now, having said that, of course, the forecast error at that length of time is, you know, quite, uh, you know, quite great. And the hurricane center could be anywhere from Appalachicola back to Vermilion Bay, Louisiana. Um, and anywhere in the middle. Um, but I do think that the models are in pretty good agreement with, you know, where the hurricane is going. And if it's going to do anything, it might slide a little further to the east. So keep that in mind. But for now, the official track carries it uh, somewhere near Gulfport, Mississippi, um, as its second landfall um, during the late night hours on Wednesday night. Let's use the European as our model of choice to tell the weather story, and I'll caution you that it's a little further west uh, with the uh, actual low center, so we'll kind of adjust for that as we go through time. But today, here in Alabama, we're mostly dry. Some light rain over the eastern part of the state uh, could develop later this afternoon. Most of us stay cloudy a good bit of the day. There'll be some peaks of sunshine at times. Temperatures are going to remain in the uh, 70s all day, so not as warm or as sunny as we expected it to be. Um, but that's because of that low moving out of the area and moisture wrapping around it. Now, tomorrow I think will be more sunny. High temperatures rising into the upper 70s, um, a better supply of sunshine. We will be watching that backdoor cold front. You can see those showers it's kicking up, potentially light showers in in Georgia, northeastern Alabama. But for most of Alabama, we remain dry, uh, at least partially sunny a good bit of the day and warmer. Now, by Tuesday, Um, What will be Tropical Storm Zeta is over the southern Gulf of Mexico, Um, and at that point, um, it should be a hurricane. Uh, Moisture will be spreading along the Gulf Coast. We'll see some showers moving under the Alabama northwest Florida uh, coast and into Mississippi and southeastern Louisiana. Some of those may even make it up into south-central Alabama, especially Tuesday night. I think we'll see increasing rain chances Tuesday night uh, into early Wednesday morning over west-central Alabama and up into the northern part of the state. Uh, but then, as the hurricane begins to make the turn Wednesday afternoon, um, you know, the European doesn't depict it very clearly here. The center's probably here. These heavy rainfall amounts are probably more over north and central Alabama. I think a good bit of our area could see two to three inches of rain from this system. 
uh, with some out uh, with some outlying four inch amounts possible. And as it you know begins to come on shore, we'll see tropical storm force winds, uh, you know, reaching southeastern Louisiana, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, over into um, the Alabama Gulf Coast late Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Those tropical storm force winds will move up into southeastern Mississippi, then southwest Alabama uh, Wednesday night and uh, into south central Alabama uh, during the early morning hours on Thursday, you know, after midnight. So we could see winds, uh, you know, 25 to 35 miles an hour gusts to 40 to 45 miles an hour up into central Alabama. This system is moving really quickly. Uh, That helps with the rainfall amounts, but it also means that, you know, the winds will stay higher a little bit longer. It will be a depression, though, probably by the time we get to, you know, 1 a.m. Thursday morning when it's into central Alabama. Now, uh, it, during the day on Thursday, this system, you know, by noon it will exit the state of Alabama, be in southeastern Tennessee. We'll see uh, fairly rapid clearing behind it. The winds will diminish quickly, too. The rain will end, and uh, then drier air will move in for the weekend. Uh, you can see Friday we're high and dry. High pressure is beginning to uh, take hold. And then, um, you know, through the weekend, we see beautiful weather. It'll be cooler, highs in the upper 60s to near 70 uh, through the weekend. And this is Election Day, Tuesday the 3rd, seeing beautiful weather for much of the country as everyone goes to vote. Some showers over South Florida, uh, some snows over the northern Rockies, light snows, and some light showers uh, in the Pacific Northwest. You see some tropical mischief there in the Western Caribbean because we're not through with the tropics. These are temperatures off the National Blend of Models. Showing uh, lower 70s today, uh, upper 70s for Monday. Uh, probably stay in the upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday um, with that tropical moisture moving in. And then, uh, you know, with um, a transitioning day on Thursday as the system departs, we'll be in the middle 70s. And then cooler and drier behind it, we'll stay uh, near where we should be for late October, early November with highs in the upper 60s, lows around 50 degrees. And I mentioned that we would have some tropical trouble again in the uh, Caribbean, this will probably be Tropical Storm or Hurricane Ada, uh, the next name up in the Greek alphabet. This is Sunday, November the 8th. This system will have been meandering westward across the Caribbean and then begin uh, to make a quick right turn uh, ahead of another trough that will be over the eastern United States, but it will cross Cuba, the southeastern Bahamas, and move on off to the northeast. Should be no threat to the United States. And this is what I said on Friday. This system, you know, would pose no threat to the Gulf of Mexico and You know, it's not the system that we're dealing with now here in the Western Caribbean. That was a different system. And um, so, you know, we're just not through with this hurricane season just as of yet. I'll remind you to check out Weather Brains, the weekly netcast that's all about weather. Monday night we'll be back live with a new show. be talking about lightning, and I think you'll find it very interesting. Well, it's been a fun week sharing all the weather videos with you. I'll have notes on the blog, a forecast update coming up at noon. And uh, until I get to sit here in this seat again next Sunday and talk to you then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.